What up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. Look, folks, it's Sunday, baby. It's Species Sunday. But last week, we talked about the largest river in the entire freaking world. So this week, I want to talk about the largest freshwater fish in the entire freaking world. I want to talk about Ari Pima Gigas today, folks. I want to talk about Paiche because this is the Jungle Series. Look, these fish have been reported to be as large as 15 feet long. I'll say that again. 15 feet long. Yes, there might be a tad bit of debate on the Ari Pima versus some of the Asian catfish. The Mekong cats might be larger and way more. Or the Asian paddlefish. Look, those fish are ugly. This fish smokes those fish. So as some of you know, I went to Peru back in 2012. I kept to myself and soaked it all in. However, while I was there, I got to see paiche, as the locals call it, in knickknacks and souvenirs for sale by all the locals. This certainly piqued my interest in the fish. While I was on the boat talking with the legendary David Schlesser, he told me a story about one time when he saw them. He said many years back he was up at some crazy little lake, and in the morning he heard a whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. It was paiche feeding in the morning sun. Needless to say, my interest was escalated at that point, to say the least. Fast forward to 2015, I am visiting the jungle, and I'm seeing sights and clues everywhere about the biggest freaking fish in the world, and I have a shot at seeing one. Okay, if I want something, I'm not afraid to ask for it, okay, but this is a little bit of an odd request. I'm walking around to Quito's on my first day there, and I happen to run into Devin at his local spot where he's grabbing a beer with someone. He just actually got off a trip and was prepping for another one, my group. He gave me the warm Devin greeting welcome, and I hit him with it pretty quickly. Hey, man, I hate to ask you this, as I said sheepishly, but I figure you're the man to ask. Is there any shot at all we can see any Ari Pima on this trip? Devin casually replies, Oh, yeah, we have some of those in the pond at the field station. I almost shit myself. Look, I've always liked fishing, okay? I've never been a big game fisher. If I can snag a few yellow perch out of Lake Erie once a summer with my dad, I'm good. This is different. Not only are these Ari Pima fish massive, they have an amazing reddish color to their fins. There is something enchanting about them. They have this combination of a prehistoric look as well as something majestic about the way their scales are. I also love the local aura around them. And the fact that they get to be about 400 pounds. As I said in my video about the people, I got to speaking with the locals about these fish. My man Saro and I got talking about them and he straight up drew me a map and was ready to take me to get these fish. And while I didn't get to go, you can bet your bottom dollar that when I go there again, I'm going to find Saro and I'm going to catch and release one of these Ari Pima. I don't know if you guys can see it, but see a little that shadow out there? That's a paiche. I've been sitting here chilling. Feeding them bananas. Left the crew early to come back here to this zen ass place. While you can't see much in that last clip, that tiny bit of footage is near to my soul. That place was awesome. That land is actually owned by Margarita Tours. I hope to raise my own 12000 bucks to buy my own 60 acres of jungle right next to it someday. But that's another story. Can you tell I'm into these fish? Perhaps it's from seeing videos of them being lugged into tiny canoes they were almost the same size of as a kid. Or seeing them in my old Street Fighter 2 days hanging out in the background of Blanca's stage. Regardless, getting to see these fish was a real thrill for me. I want to give Devin some credit here. And while the audio kind of sucks because the generator going on in the background, I want you all to hear how easily the knowledge of this fish rolls off of Devin's tongue. Arowana? Same family as Arowana. What's the family? Osteoglossy. And what is the... That just oh. means bony tongue. Bony tongue? What other bony yeah. tongue? Bony tongue, tongue fish. What other bony tongues? There's a the primitive group of fish. There's not that many of them. It's the uh, arowanas, the arapaimas. Might be a couple of other things in there too. But. And while it was a great thrill to see them, I would like to point out the downside of what is happening to these awesome fish. Look, you hear me going gaga all about them, wanting to go fishing for them. If I want to go fishing for them, you can imagine there's plenty of other people that want to go fishing for them in the wild as well. 
The wild populations of these fish have been declining because of overfishing. Not just sport fishing, but also the local people hunting them for food. This makes sense if you think about it. If you made your living catching fish and you got paid bigger for the bigger amounts of fish you caught, wouldn't you want to catch the biggest fish you could find? These fish are heavy-duty predators. They can jump out of the water and eat animals out of trees. I don't believe they are endangered, and I know they're protected in Brazil. But the thought of these fish not being around in the wild doesn't sit well with me. If you want to see these fish and you can't make it down to the Amazon, I would suggest you check out your local aquarium. I know the Newport Aquarium in Cincinnati has some, and I've been told that if you want to see them, there's a 12-foot one in Omaha, Nebraska Aquarium. I guess it's the diameter of a trash can. Oh, and the local fish wholesaler happened to have some and was willing to let me play with them. No, they absolutely don't belong in an aquarium, but yes, the thought crossed my mind. I got the greenhouse. For the record, they cost $150 just to purchase, plus a $175 fee to get out of Peru, plus $200 shipping. And that doesn't even guarantee that U.S. Customs would let them pass, which, by the way, is how most of these fish end up at your local aquariums is because they are confiscated on their way into the United States. Can you tell I like Paiche? Paiche, baby! I've got plenty more videos like this in the Jungle series. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe and tank on.